this week started with sorting out supplies, like restocking all of my supplies for packing orders and stuff, which was a lot of printing and a lot of cutting, a lot of cutting. Um, I did most of it on Monday. I almost got it all done on Monday. It was just folding the mini zines that I had to do yesterday. Um, but yeah, here is some sped up footage of all of that. And also yesterday, I went to the library. Do you want to see all the books I got? Let's show you all the books I got. Hang on, one of them isn't here. I started reading this one last night, The Wild Remedy, which is like a year. It's split into months about going out into nature and how it's nice for you. 
it's nice for you to go out in nature. I also got <laughs> this, <laughs> what am I talking about? But I mean, it is, it is nice for you to go out in nature. Um, number two of Keep Your Hands Off Azo Ken. An anthology of English folk tales. Losing Eden. How to Read a Graveyard. And Giant Days number 12. Most, most of these were off of my stuff to find in the library list. I think two of them I just picked up because I saw them on the shelf. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good going. Um, and now today I'm going to do a little painting. I'm in practice mode. I really just want to do as many little paintings as I can. Or I say paintings, but like any kind of finished piece, whatever I end up doing. But at the moment I'm feeling very into like painting. I want to learn my watercolours properly again. I and mean, I never really learnt them very well anyway. And then I just kind of, anyway, I want to practice. And I like doing a layer of watercolour and then pencils over the top. I did those pigeons I did with alcohol markers and then pencils over the top. I like the idea of painting first. Yeah, I just want to be practising a lot. I want to get, I don't know, figure out how I do things. So it's not necessarily stuff that really needs to be a fancy finished illustration but I just want to be doing a lot of them so I'm going to take stuff out of my sketchbooks and trace them up onto paper and try and figure out I want to be practicing like backgrounds and just drawing in general and I just want to be practicing all of it so I'm going to make I'm going to try and concentrate on making lots of finished pieces if that makes sense just working outside of my sketchbook I guess Look at how yellow this is. It's so old. I have not used it enough for it to have gone this yellow. Look at the underneath. You are underutilised, I'm sorry. Yesterday, I got the first layer done. Just 
kind of filled in filled in that first layer of paint and now I'm not sure I'm not, not sure what to do next but it's all about practice so it doesn't matter what I do next this isn't for anything I want to try I don't want to be too safe basically I want to make sure that I'm trying stuff so that I can figure out what works and what doesn't work I'm thinking the first thing I'll do is outline it because I was planning on going over basically all of it with colored pencils but I quite like how the paint has settled and the colors are quite nice so I might be a little bit more bearing with the colouring over the top. I'm not sure, maybe I'll end up going over it, I don't know. But the thing that I'm particularly like, oh, I don't know if I should do it, was the outlining of the shape. So I want to put a more defined outline on it. And I think the safe thing would be to pick our colour or a couple of colours to outline the shapes. But I think I might stick with the colours of the bit that I'm outlining, if that makes sense. So like on this star, I would outline the pink bit pink and the yellow bit yellow and the orange bit orange, rather than picking one outline colour for the whole thing. I'm not sure whether that will look good or not, but like I said, that's kind of the point. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna see how it looks.